caution. An arrival class creature is near. Guys, I think my loading penguin's having a stroke. It's not moving and it's not letting me in the game. Okay, I can't do anything. What? Hello? Are you gonna, you gonna, I'm in. I made it finally. Haha. -ha. Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. In the last video, we found out the details of the Mercury 2 crew and what actually happened to them thanks to the fully added story. Unfortunately, I don't really know where the survivors would have landed. No one really had a discussion about that. So I'm not gonna go over to the Arctic shelf. Anyways, here is the plan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head down to the deep twisty bridges. I haven't gone down here yet and I, there might be something down here that I need because I haven't actually taken time to explore this area. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit dangerous, but I think the risk is worth the reward. And in a moment as well, I do wanna talk to you about Alan's previous forms or um, the forms that they were going to give Alan because there was some concept art released and it's kind of interesting to see how Alan could have looked um, with these iterations that they were working on. And yes, I do have a sponsorship for this video. As you know, yesterday we published a video on the Gargantuan Leviathan. That thing is gearing up to come out for you guys. It's going to be publicly accessible. Uh, what did I just hear? There's nothing down here that's dangerous, though. Like it's oh, oh, it's a squid. Oh, OK. Yeah, uh, that's dangerous. Wait. I'm gonna run out of fuel. Oh, okay, I ran out of fuel. Oh God. Anyways, it's a win-win situation. We get an awesome mod completed fairly fast and we get some funding towards another development mod on Subnautica, which is gonna be the Frozen Leviathan. So here is today's video sponsor and then we're gonna move into the Allen stuff. Guys, I finally picked up a sponsor that will pay you to think. And that sponsor is YouGov. Imagine saving your hard earned money from work and instead spending a couple minutes a week on your own time and earning enough for a dinner date, going to the movie with friends, or well, really anything. They will literally pay you with points that you can then redeem on their website for cash and Amazon gift cards. All just for having your thoughts on a subject heard. Just for signing up on their website or through their app and spending a little time answering questions. And the most rewarding part, your opinion will be seen and it might even help make a difference. Click the link in my description to get started. And remember, look after the pennies and the dollars will look after themselves. All right, I'm gonna try and get down here while he's busy. Oh God, oh, yeah. get away. Oh, go, 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 go. Just hide. God, this place is beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful and nice. Ah. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> okay, I'm safe. Uh, <laughs> Alright, what do we have down here? We're almost 400 meters down. That's fairly far. I don't know how I'm gonna get this thing up out of here. I don't think I... Oh, shit, there's another one. Oh, God. Go, go. Go, 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 go. Alright, never mind about trying to get up out of here right now. I'm gonna take a moment, talk about the precursor stuff with you because these concepts are kind of cool. And then you guys are gonna vote on the Frozen Leviathan sounds because I have a brand new sound set for you guys to listen to. I took some of the feedback and, well, uh, we could use more feedback, basically. So these come from Alex Reese and there are numerous concepts and these are what Alan, our friendly alien friend that we find in the end game of Subnautica Below Zero, would have looked. Well, at least it was some concept art of it. I really don't like this. I don't, it looks like a, a slug that has arms and it, it just, it doesn't have, I think this is more of like a, a race based on telepathy and less based on their, you know, their extensive knowledge of, of their precursor metals and creating exoskeletons. I think it's so much more interesting with how the story has progressed to give these guys just the metal, the metal armor, the actual body that they need. I mean, a three-eye thing is kind of cliche to me. I'm not really a big fan of that. I, ah, uh, I just, you know, I, I'm glad that Alan looks how he looks today and he doesn't look like this. And I don't know, it, it, this is, this is a little bit weird. It has the face of a crab. Like it's, um, <laughs> it's definitely a concept. I've always been curious about what they wanted to have the precursors look like too. And like, you've got a bunch of concepts here from A to F. I mean, 
there's one that looks like a flower. This one looks like an armadillo that has a, a anteater's face. I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. This looks more like an animal than anything else. D looks like a little tank. E looks like a, a sea treader. And F looks like a, a shadow leviathan met an ice worm. Like these are really weird takes on what the precursors would have looked. And I don't think any of these would have served the function of what a precursor was supposed to be. I mean, then we move into this one too. Like we could see these ones with the mandibles again were always talked about. And you can see se uh, second stabilizer legs fold away when walking so that it would stay. Oh, that's kind of cool though. I don't understand the, the function of this because you think about it, these things are advanced spacefaring aliens. Why would their body not just have the functionality of their legs, you know, as they should be? They got stabilizer legs that fold away when walking. Now, unless the body itself is made out of a metal, I just don't understand it. And then they had little arms in there as well. Oh, they took kind of a, like a, a, a weird position. I'd be worried to like leap on me. And then there is another iteration of a two secondary stabilizer legs right there and it has a precur well a precursor it has it has a alien rifle i don't understand why it's carrying that but it looks like this thing was made more for about combat because like you could see right here its face is opened up and then right here it's like it closes armor plating around its only fleshy bits the eyes so i can only assume then this is an exoskeleton more than likely I don't know. It's a really interesting take on the precursors. This is the page where I got them from with Alec Reese art. It, it's kind of cool to see. I mean, I've already shown you the Crested Reaper. They tweeted that a while ago. It's just the replacement for the normal Reaper. Um, but yeah, it is cool to see this stuff. I'm super happy they didn't go with these designs because uh, Alan would be really weird if that was the case. But yeah, okay, let's, <laughs> let's move on. And now we have some frozen Leviathan sounds. These are the updated iterations. They're still not complete, unfortunately, because we still need feedback from you guys. Uh, but I think we're taking a step in the right direction. Okay, it's getting really dark and it's oh this goes even deeper oh okay um hello oh oh it's a thermal spot I, I think this is a thermal spot can i scan you hang on let me can i scan you what are you you look too interesting <gasps> Ooh. hydrothermal vent that's kind of interesting created when water filters through cracks in the planetary crust Okay, so it's bunch of it's like geological stuff. So you guys who are into like geological findings and well, rocks would be interested in that. I'm not too interested in it, but still kind of a cool thing to see. Oh, and there's some oh, there's stuff down here. Haha, -ha, we have the sea truck module there. I'm gonna take this diamond real quick. Yoink, 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 yoink. Mine, dude. There's so much. <laughs> oh, this goes back up. Okay, where? Are we gonna end up? The current is really strong down this way. I, I kind of wanna... What What is down here? Uh... Oh, you're down there. You don't see me. You don't see anything. I'm just gonna use these little things to try and help me reach around these places. Okay, go, go, go. Right, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go take a look at... Oh, what the, what the hell? There's a PDA here. Why are you all the way down here? Sea truck log number two. What a weird spot. She's on a cracker. Saw me. Managed to eject the cargo modules and hide. Oh. Sit here with the lights off, sweating through my shirt. I'm not gonna get pooped out of the back end of a sea monster to save Altera some money. <laughs> Anywell, not going to be happy. Not one bit. <laughs> okay, so then apparently just right. Oh, you're supposed to find that as you enter that spot, I guess. 
Um, I guess that guy just... <laughs> oh, God. He, he must have saw a squid shark and, uh, you know, he didn't want to get eaten by it and pooped out. So, <laughs> I like that. I, I like that guy. I'm going to head directly for Margaret now and try and see if she has any other supplies down there for me. I think this is it right here. Ah, there we go. We found the world's butt crack. Okay, we're going to jump right in here. And I'm going to keep an eye out because I haven't been down here in a very, very long time. Like a couple months now, I think. So I'm going to see if they added anything with the brand new update, seeing as the finalized stuff is all in. Ah, there we go. It's the telling sign. It's those things. And they do absolutely nothing, which is disappointing as hell because I thought they were going to do something, but they don't do something. What is the deal with this area? I think that's just an alternative entrance. We'll go back there later. Didn't I tell you oh. to stay away? From what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Mason. Ha <laughs> ha, there it is. You're on my turf. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. Ah, uh, we can't see anything in there. There's her prawn suit, though. Customized prawn suit. Looks like they might have changed that as well. Uh, standard MK3. Yeah, I know all about this. It's got the Calicerate Mandible, too. It's a juvenile Calicerate man Mandible, actually. Uh, if you see right here, um, yeah. of a, uh, the Mandible of a young Calicerate. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of cool to see. Margaret, I'm home! Yeah, okay. I told you to stay off my land. You trained that thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Oh. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. Okay. If you're not, Altera. Why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. Okay. So then we can scan some of this stuff. So a snow fox fragment is here. We'll go ahead and take that. Uh, there's a core upgrade to... It looks like they've actually modified this room and the New layout of it. Uh, and then this test mod uh, module override thing to, is there too. Now I just need to build the test override module. New blueprint and then synthesized. I can that satellite tower. Okay, all right. And abandoned PDA. Margaret that made us log two. Swimming back for land wasn't an option. I'd die from exhaustion long uh, before I made it to shore. All I could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere. Eek. I felt a suction. And suddenly, there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me. It had taken hours for the Reaper's corpse to float to the surface. Oh, uh, he found the rest of the Reaper's corpse. Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch my breath. But would she sink? before or after I died of thirst. I had a knife, a repair tool, and three liters of water. At least I wasn't going to die of exhaustion. Well, the now, captain. those reapers, they're practically all muscle, but there's some fat in there. I was able to keep warm and drink the water. And I mm. didn't have much, but I had that repair tool, so I had a spark. It took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of Reaper fat than I ever cared to. <laughs> I had to ration fires, but as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast. All right, so that's a pretty interesting one. We're also, I believe, in Shadow Leviathan territory now, which is not uh, not an ideal spot to be. I'm just wondering if there's a way for me to use this area to get down to this artifact there, but I don't think I can. I am going to grab some of this uranium. So the Margaret story sounds like it's it's possibly changed a bit. I don't remember that log in particular. Or at least... Oh. Um, I don't remember that log in particular, or at least some parts of that log. 
Uh, kind of interesting, but I mean, ultimately, it all points to the same thing. She had to literally carve out a Reaper's ribcage to survive. Oh. Well, hello! Yo. What the hell is this? Check this out. What is this? I've never seen this here before. What are you? Look at all these supplies and stuff. There's PDA logs. Oh, that's damage. Oh, what are you? Uh, oh, the booster tank. Okay, that's cool. Uh, what about you though? What are you? New blueprint synthesized. And Margaret Maida's log one. Oh, she was here. 500 meters below sea level. Chunks of the sea base sank around me. One hand gripped the monster scales. The other was clamped around the shard of metal I'd lodged into her eye socket. A reaper. Wounded, maybe, but still deadly. I'd already taken out one eye. I damn near carved out the other. We were headed for the void at the crater's edge. Blinded, she was spiraling deeper. I had a choice. Hold on, or let go. I clung for dear huh. life as she took us deeper. I had one minute of air in the tank. Back then, I could go another three with what I had in my lungs. So I had four minutes to kill the Reaper, minus a few to get back to the surface. It ain't that I like killing folk. It's just sometimes what you need is on the inside of someone else's rib cage. I killed that beautiful, terrifying creature. And I made for the surface. When I caught my breath, I realized we'd come further than I thought. I was surrounded by watery void. Just me, an ocean. Nothing else. No ghost leviathans? Really? Margaret, come on. You were in the void. And the, the ghost leviathans were even scared of you? Okay. What? Oh, wait. There's something up right here. What are you? But that's a sign that Sam would have been here then because, I mean, literally her spy pangling was there and the other stuff was there. I... Uh, I thought that that was part of the story too where Margaret's like, ha ha, your sister was here. And, you know, maybe not. All right, where does this lead? Okay, it's going further and fur... Okay, I know where this is. Oh, this is not an area I should be in. Oh, I am not ready at all to be down here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Proceed with caution. An Leviathan class creature is near. Proceed with caution. A Leviathan class creature is here. I don't see a Leviathan class creature. Shit, but I can oh, 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 oh god! Oh, get going! Get going! Get going! I don't know how much damage that thing can do to a prod suit. Ah, oh, don't destroy my prod suit, please, Mr. Shadow Leviathan. Don't do that. Holy sweet Jesus. Pretty much at my maximum depth now, too. I can't really go much further. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. It goes so much further down. Ah. Oh. I don't even think my prawn suit can can go down to that area. I should. Oh God, I can't. I can't. I don't know if I'll be able to get up out of there. That definitely looks further than 200 meters. Oh show! Oh, I'm definitely not going down there now. Oh, I'm definitely not. Oh, how do you see me? You don't see shit. Oh, now is my chance to kill you. Ha! 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 Ah! 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 Jesus Christ! The hell? The hell is that? What the hell? I'm out. I don't have the whole strength. I don't have the whole integrity. I don't have the air. I don't have the oxygen. I don't have the manpower to deal with that. I'm not going down there anymore. Ooh, look, it's a fancy arm upgrade for me. I won't go ahead and take that. Maybe I will stay down here because I can get these. I and mean, these are really valuable. I can use more of these. I just want to die. Yeah, I'm still down here. I know. I'm trying to... I'm trying to get some of these blueprints while I'm down here because it's a long journey. I'll take some of this kyanite too. I think there's only one and it's down there anyway, so it's fine, but I don't, uh, I don't necessarily trust. Oh shit, there's two. Oh, what the hell? You sound so horrible. 
Oh, shit, no! 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 Oh, you ass! Oh, stop! Oh, he's gonna break it! He's gonna... Okay, I'm out. I'm out now. I'm definitely out now. Leave me alone. Let me just... Where's my welder? Where's my welder? Where's my welder? Holy shit. Just go away. Just go away. <laughs> shit. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Wait, what the? Oh, oh, why are you doing that to me? Why are you go? Oh, oh. <laughs> he just literally put it right back where he picked it up from. If you're going to take my exosuit, you put it back exactly where you found it. <laughs> okay, well, that wasn't too terrible then. I just, um, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I think this is like a, a way out. I didn't know there was two entrances and two exits to this place. Holy shit, it leads to the thermal vents. No way. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, that's great. <gasps> Yo, it leads up right here. Oh, I had no idea. That's like an easy entrance and exit. Oh my God, I gotta build a base here. Oh, and I'm out. Oh yeah, that was easy. All right, where am I? Oh, I'm next to the uh, to the thruster. All right, that's not bad. Anyways, that is it for now on Subnautica Below Zero. Guys, I need your input for a second though. Do you think I should restart my game entirely and start from scratch, start from the beginning? Given that there's been some major content updates and it's more than likely that major content is going to be missing from my save, seeing as Subnautica doesn't always load that that stuff, you know? It, it just, it doesn't, I don't know why. But anyways, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next